everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is LV and today we have a second episode on my um, 2019 house plan tour of Monstera. <laughs> so this is not all my Monstera collection because I do have another Monstera over there that is too big to fit in the table. But this is most of my Monstera right now that I uh, can show you on the table. A type of Monstera here. Thing, I still have some Monstera that in my wish list, the variegated Monstera Peru, that's what I like. Besides that, I think that's all Monstera I want. Um, bigger high constellation is what on my wish list as well. And um, let's get started. So this is my Monstera Addisonia Nero form. This is one of my favorite. It's actually one of my first um, online um, Facebook marketplace purchase. When I got it, it only have three leaves, and I bought this about March, so it's very my first, very first plants. Um, it was on the soil and then in the semi hydro, and then um, it's looked like growing a lot, a lot, a lot of it. And um, somehow the leaf is a little bit too small, like not the same size. This is original leaf. Um, the new leaf that grow is a little bit small. I think maybe it's something to do with the water, nutrition water that I give it. So I probably going to report it or give it a better nutrition solutions. Um, the second plant that I want to introduce you, this is Monstera Peru. This one is actually two pots. Um, one is in semi hydro, one in the soil, and they are from the same seller, NSE Tropical. I bought them when I went to Trolley the trip. It looks like um, in semi hydro, slightly slower than in soil because they are right now busy to grow some new root roots. Um, but afterward, I hope it will dry, uh, it will grow grow faster. So for the soil one, this two is the newest leaf, and um, and then this two is the old leaf, and this one this is the newest leaf. So so I got it uh, from NSC Tropical about twenty five dollars each. I have another purchase from a Facebook marketplace, um, but they all die out because I got a root rot and then I cut it all off and then regrow them. And here is where I have them. Um, the I cut off the stem, put it in sphagnum moss. As you can see, um, this guy is already growing. So yeah, so it's doing pretty well. For the leaf, I also cut it off, but the leaf doesn't doing as good as the stem itself. Um, so we'll see. Um, I got a rod, so that's how I do when I do got root rod. I put it in sphagnum. Hope it's revised. So this is the third one, this is Monstera Septipicana. I got this very recently, October, from Stiff Leaf. I love it. It grows very well, very fast. I actually has propagates one batch of it and then um, give it away um, as my 100 subscriber giveaway plans. Um, they are very fast grower, and, but um, somehow the new leaf, it wasn't as big. I hope it will grow bigger. As you can see, it's already outgrown the pot and the trailer. So I, bit, I think I probably need more, more trailer for it to climb. But look at how pretty is the leaf. This is a new leaf. The demonstration, it's pretty, so pretty. Sarah, high constellations. It's my first few video that I made. Um, I do have unboxing video for these high constellations. I bought this from. Amazon actually is from Korea. Um, I bought two, um, and then since then it's always out of stock. Um, this two is the newest leaf. Um, one thing about the the plant is it doesn't have as much variegation that I wish it has, and this is the newest leaf that is just sprout not long ago. I don't think there's going to be as much variegations um, as I will hope so. And then next to it is my second collection that I got. It's a, I got it as a cutting $250. <laughs> I also have unboxing video up, up the link. Um, it's totally worth it. I would say it's my birthday gift um, for myself. Um, it doesn't do anything though. Um, you can see it still the white leaf. I have trimmed off some of the white because the white just not staying forever. Um, it doesn't give me any new shoots yet, but um, as you can see, the root has huge, very 
very uh, this is a new root that's gr growing very recently after I put a sphagnum moss. Um, and then I was um, rooted with uh, semi hydroponics and then I put it back in the soil. So once I put it back in the soil, it seems to grow a lot faster. But look at the stem, the variegation is a lot. And then this one, this is my regular Monstera Deliciosa that I bought, I got from my friends free. <laughs> um, I also have some other regular Monstera that I will show you. But this is the perfect round leaf. It's so pretty. It's in semi hydroponic right now. It's second week, and I didn't change the water last week, so I think that's going to be a problem. I'll make a video about it. Like, what happens if you don't change the water? I can smell there's some smell in the water. I think it's there's rot on it. And then this, I think I showed that before. This is, look at this. This is the rainbow things on the back of the Deliciosa. And this one, this is Monstera Half Moon that I got recently. I got this offer C. I think this is very pretty, but I, if I want to choose, I think I will go with the uh, the elbow because Half Moon is nice. It's rare. I think it's even rare than the elbow, but it's only two color. <laughs> but it's really nice to have one of it in the collections. Um, yeah, and it's very pretty some others corner that I have on my Monstera. This is, I think, Bosigiana. This is a small Monstera. Um, I don't think it will get as big as the other one. I got this, I think I got this from Home Depot. I have two, one is upstairs, one is this room. And here we go, this is the last Monstera that I have. This is Monstera Adisonia Ram Farm. I bought this from Fall Little Tree. Um, I have some um, unboxing and potting video here. Um, it's doing pretty well. We can see this is all the new grow. The new grow grows slightly smaller than the big one, but elephant, the demonstration here it's so pretty. Look at those, like oh, um, yeah. The new grow, um, the the olive. I did cut off some of them and propagate it, and. Um, there's also a little bit issue of this um, Adisonia. There's some brown spot here. I have no idea what is this, but I think it could be the same issue with my Phytax. It might be some bacteria infections because my room stay quite moist, like 75 to 80. Mostly it's 70, but it's still, um, yeah, I need to do something about it. Yeah, so um, I do fungicide spray. Uh, once a while, I think I can spray one more time to stop it. But this is so pretty. I saw it on um, the four liter nursery, so I bring it back uh, through air air plant. <laughs> um, it was very big cherry plants. I think it's totally worth it the the, the trip. Um, I want to have more of this. So so yeah, it's a very big one. So I'm gonna show you some of the collection on the uncategorized, mostly like um, the Hoya, the uh, I think it's the Stratfi Dofra, some things. <laughs> it was used to be very popular, it's still very popular. And some others um, that's not in category. And this one will be a little bit quicker because I'm really overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, so let's get started. Here we go. This is my Hoya Crimson Queen. Um, this is one of uh, my first semi hydroponic plants. And um, it's to be honest, it's really um, surprised me that it's make it because I heard some people um, have a hard time with it. Um, it's a big pot, and then I divided it to be smaller one, so now it's doing pretty well. And then um, this is one I got it locally. And then this one is my mac maculata, uh, begonia maculata, the only begonia that I have currently. Um, the, there's a lot of new grow, um, doing pretty well. It's also in semi hydroponics, um, doing way better than the alocasia, uh, but I'm waiting for it to flower. So, and then this is my Cicus Discolor. So this one I bought it locally as well. Um, and then it was a very long trellis plant and then I divided. it. I have another one in here that is in semi-hydroponic. So the one in semi-hydroponics is also doing very, very well and it starts to climb, but there's no space to climb, so they climb each other. <laughs> so pretty, right? Yeah. 
and then I have this is my string of pearl uh, it isn't doing very well right now because I, I mess up the waterings um, this is one of them that is still in soil so it's in winter right now I think they doesn't need so much water and I think I'm over watered because I can see some of the dead pearl so I'm going to put it in the heat pad, heat pad to hope it dry out the soil faster and I got this one just today, very recently. It's so cute. Oh, I hope I did not broke it. Yeah, I got this just today for $15 in the local nursery. So cute. What is this called? Um, it is called Arbuca Spilar. So it said it doesn't need to be water as much, but it's more than the ZZ plants. So I hope it's going to be doing well. I'm going to let this one in the soil. I really forgot what is this one um, uh, plant's name. It's the one that is, I couldn't pronounce. And I have a unboxing video on this guy. Um, it doesn't do anything to be honest. I have it and then it's still the same. It does grow me some new leaf, but nothing. Doesn't climb. I did cut it off one of it um, to give away. Uh, but besides that, it just doesn't grow much. So, so yeah, so I don't have much love with it, but it's a pretty plant though. It's a mini monstera. Yeah, that's what it, they call it, a mini monstera. And here you go, I have my black ZZ plants that I bought from Amazon. It's from Costal Farm for about $35, include the ceramic pot, so which is very nice, good deal. It has some new grow, it's about to turn black, but it's still pretty green. And I have this guy, this one. I have no idea what it is because I bought this together with this one. They are the same buyer, a uh, seller. And then he just give me this plant that I don't know what is the name is. But this is Verarium plants or Terrarium plants for sure. And I have this um, Hoya Carrii. It's a hardship Hoya. I got this. Um, it wasn't doing well when I got it, but then when I put it in semi hydroponic it's like the heart getting harder so which is nice um i was underwater um before i hope they still have water in here and here this guy this is the one that i got from the green space id it still did not improving i might gonna lose the leaf i put it in semi hydro i think i might take it out because it doesn't seem like doing as well as anthurium um, I don't want to stretch out so, too much, so I'm probably going to put it in um, sphagnum moss um, after this. So this is a Chinese money plant. It's doing very really well. I have actually three stalks. This one is one of the stalks and it's doing way better than my other one that is growing in the um, the terracara pot. So I think it actually like to be moist. And now I have this guy. It looked like a little bit dry out. Um, this is Luffy Jova Hai. This is one of my favorite plants. Uh, but yeah, the leaf seems like a little bit dry out. I need to moist it up before I go on vacations. This one is my Peperomia watermelons. I love it. Um, the leaf like doing a funny shape. I think it needs some kind of vitamins. They like of some nutrition, so I have to do something with it. So here you go. It's a lot of plants for this episode i think it's getting too long right now so i'm gonna cut it off here as usual let me know which one do you like which is your favorites comment down below and remember to click like and subscribe um hope to hear you soon thank you for watching bye bye